What is going on, you lot? Midi here. We've got him. Bow has been released. We've got the Steam release as well for the game. I am genuinely excited to actually play him. I want to go over a few things. I want to look at his skills. This is my first time looking at him. And he's got a lot. He's got five unique sort of passive abilities that I want to go over really quickly. So he's got Scare Fest. So when activated, this ability will activate all traps nearby for a limited time including those on cooldown which is going to be his main ability which i think is actually really good traps give off the guaranteed damage especially when you're on point and you trap him out and then you know you could just activate this re-trap him all again so that's quite good his next ability is going to be mass paranoia all teammates look like the survivor you possess for a limited time if it's an evil unit demon possesses all evil units nearby will take on the appearance of the possessed unit this is absolutely crazy like you're going to possess a survivor like let's say hunter ash and everyone looks like Hunter Ash. Is that how it works? This is going to be insane. Like, I can't. Yeah, this is madness. This is absolute madness. The next one's Manhunter. Placing traps increases the demon's movement speed for a limited time. Triggering a schema trap will mark a survivor. Okay, so you get a bit of a speed increase. And you get fear increase on a marked survivor. It's quite good. He's got feed by fear. So the higher the survivor's fear level, the more damage they take from a possessed teammate and the more infernal energy the demon generates passively. So if survivors have got high fear levels and you possess someone, they're going to take increased damage by whoever you're possessing. Mix that in with his mass paranoia ability. You know, you're guaranteed to get damage off. And his last passive is rampant paranoia. Increases the fear level of survivors when near an objective. So obviously when you're on point, this is going to work a little bit better. I've noticed that the skill tree kind of looks similar to plague. We're going to have a little look through. So reduce the cooldown of placing the basic portals. I'm going to use them. Increases the fear level gained over time by marked survivors. So if they walk into trap, they get marked. Demonic dash as well, which is really cool here. And he's even got speedy fingers here. Look, so you've got increased the duration of the scare fest ability. And then you've got increased the speed at which traps are placed. Into the early game, this might be able to knock you up a few levels if you're really quick. Especially for demon mains that don't like finding survivors early. So this could work. So I've just put points into the basic units. It's going to be a really basic build until I actually figure out what the units do. So increasing the max health with a boss, bit of damage there. And then on to the last three main abilities, which are normally the most powerful. So you've got bow and chain so this reduces the cooldown of his abilities and increases the damage dealt then you've got kind of more of a leech one increases his maximum health and the amount of health restored using his abilities and then you've got one more built into fierce using his abilities are going to increase the survivor's fear level so i'm going to go with mindfulness i'm just going to play it a little bit you know safe for now i guess we're going to jump into our very first game with bow we're going to see how he actually plays out this is going to be insane as always leave a like on the video let's get into a game <laughs> Oh, we got the, we got a big map, mate. Ain't no problem. Right, so every time I trap, I move a bit faster. And his ability, one of his abilities anyway, you can activate all of the traps in the area. And even if they're on cooldown, look. Boom, boom. Look at this. Oh, my God. And I'm getting XP for that. I'm getting XP for this. So if you know an area that's full of traps, you can literally just do this. Look at this. No worries, lads. And I just found and I just found where they worked. I'm so quick. Oh, this is gonna be broken. I'm gonna go demon powers first. I mean I could go traps. Nope. Okay, so who are we actually going against? We're going against Brock, Mia, Pablo, and a Warrior Ash. Okay. This is gonna be crazy. I just need three. Let's get some basics down. Everyone's kind of split up as well. Oh, we've got more traps here. Okay. Look at that. Being able to every time you trap and you go faster like this. Your power leveling is going to be insane. We'll just activate the ability and activate the traps, man. Just go dead end or something. Oh, where was Brock? He was here. Camp Greenbird, maybe? But, and then you just go like this. Meow. Just zoom. Just absolutely zoom. Use the traps to actually find the survivors quicker on the big map. Trap and get the speed. And the levels, of course. Wow. That is insane. Maybe level four. I'm gonna put points to traps here. Let's let's use a basic. Let's see what happens. So the cars as well, they've reduced them. Right. Let's see how Mia does with this. Use the wire. That's to increase the attack speed. Oh my god, look at this! Right. It's the E. Oh no, she made a cutscene there. I've noticed the infernal energy does get drained quite fast. Similar to like Necro or Warlord. Very quick, okay. So I did have my Mass Paranoia ability, which is the second one. So I can turn into someone like, let's say, Warrior Ash. And everyone's going to turn into Warrior Ash. Right, let's use the ability here. Get all the traps down. Look at this. Straight away, look, you've already zoned the area out because you've trapped everything. Wow. Oh, you, wanna, you guys want to come over here? No worries. No worries. <laughs> Just trap everything. 
Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. He's... Wait. Just make this. Get the elites out. Right. Oh, man. This is... This is punishment, isn't it? Sorry, survivors. This is the demon meta now. I'm just going to possess him for a sec. Get him into a trap here. Okay. All right, so yeah, let's put some points into possession. I'm going to keep his fear up for a second. Whoa. you got to be careful when you get a speed boost. You're going to zoom across the map like this. Let's get some more infernal energy. Kind of like Necromancer and Warlord. You need to watch your infernal energy here. I want to get possession on one. I want to try this mass paranoia. Let's see. I mean, I've not even got first map PC here. Look. Oh, <laughs> we always said. Get some traps. Get the speed boost. Go ahead a little bit so we can trap more. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, it's Pablo, okay. No point possession here. Just take the basic for a sec. Increase the attack speed. Oh! Look at that! Whoa. The attack combos that you can do with it is crazy. Yep, you heal off of that as well. Wow. Wait. Increase the attack speed. Oh! Wait. Let's heal off that hit. Oh! Come down. All right, activate a trap ability again. Trap this entire bit out. Look, we're going to have plenty of time to do this. Here we go. This is broken. Map piece is in here. Have fun getting this, guys. How long have we got the ability? Seven seconds. Look. Get all this. Wow. This is not even me pulling out boss. Right, let's get mass paranoia. Oh, hold on, hold on. Right. Can't possess her, obviously. Right, I've got boss now, though. Wow. All right, let's do mass par... Oh, no, 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 no. Use the elite, actually. Go. Okay. It's a nice little AOE there. This is like if... I'm guessing if there's loads of warriors, you can just kind of do that. And these other ability reduces the damage he takes. You're going to see that from the purple aura here. Wow. Let's drop this for a sec. Let's shut the cooldown here. I mean, they're having a hard time dealing with the units already. Okay. Right, mass paranoia. Almost off cooldown here. Great. They might try and take car. I know we got boss here. Wait, come on, come on, come on. Let's do a mass paranoia. There we go. Yeah, look, look. Everyone's... Wait. Did he turn it into it? Well, I can tell. So, look, you're going to see Brock. No knockback damage. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I feel like it did it in. Maybe it doesn't change the icon, but everyone changes that near him, I think. All right, let's get Bow out. Let's actually do this. I'm already level 12. Pat, like, they've not even got map piece. They've got one map piece. We're in the car. Can we get a jump scare here? Wait. Yes, that's enough. That's enough. So yeah, the cars are RNG now. I think I, oh, I read it up. If something like a minimum can spawn four, maximum that can spawn is like ten. Try and get this again. I'll try and break it. Right, get the elites. The ability, look, I've just ran past this. I can trap all this out. Obviously, we're going to come over here to start a point. Get all this. Wow. That is crazy. The fact that you get XP for that as well. Oh, I've noticed, though. I think it takes the infernal energy when you do this. Okay. It just makes trapping easier. Right, next map piece is here. Okay. Let me get some traps here. Use their fear to turn right. against each other. Don't want to mess it up too much. So let's see what we can do with him. Oh, he comes! AOE. Boom. Oh. Right. Dodge. Go invisible. Come back out. Do a lot of damage with that. Right. Hold on. Oh, my God. The damage, though. Let's get a grab. Sorry, Brock. <laughs> Sorry, Brock. Let's take on Mia. Do the AOE. I'm just going for a cheeky revive, I don't think it will. And, let's go invisible for a sec. Right. 
So I don't think they can damage you when you're doing this. Let's peek out. Other AOE. Wow. Wait. Nice. Hey, right, I'm gonna heal off of that. Let's go invisible again. Can you get the grabbing? Right, you come out of invincibility to do the grab. Still good though. Here we again. Let's uh, let's heal off everyone. Takes all their health there. Massive. Let's go invisible. Make it harder for them to. Right, he dodged it though. Oh no no no! Oh! Oh, they've left me up. Get a grab on Mia, come on. He's quite slow, by the way. Every single attack you do is pretty slow. Go invisible here. Use the leech again. It's the range of that, okay. He hasn't got a lot of range. Might be able to take him on. Nice, just got her. Our level through all that. Oh my God, this is, this is nuts. This is like Papa Tear, but better in every single way. They're all bleeding out, Warrior Ash. Okay, we're out of the invincibility here. I'm gonna go invincible again. Let's use the ability here. I, oh, I need this AOE, really. Come here, Ash. Oh, let's go. Oh, we're dead here, we're dead. Oh, he's dead. There we go. More units out here. Here we go. Activate the attack speed. Oh lord! Look at the look at the combo though. Look down. That um, guys, that is insane. This is like the best demon they've put in the game. He is absolutely insane. Wow, what a game to showcase how OP this dude is. This is no exaggeration. Bow is OP. That was incredible. I'm going to try and cover so many builds with this dude. You guys have got to let me know what you think of him. I mean, tell me that's not absolutely crazy how he's able just to trap everything. GG's.